Hi everyone. Um, first of all, I apologize. I haven't put something up for a while. A, my camera uh, is not working. So I have this one I'm borrowing for now until I can get another one. Uh, B, these experiments took me forever to do. And my idea is to run something on a 1.5, like a pendulum on a 1.5 volt. But I realized that uh, it's to do with the coil. This is of the quartz clock um, that I took apart. It's actually a pendulum from there. And it would be easy for me to just um, take this and use it for what I want. But like I said, I don't want to do that. I want to try and find out if I can achieve it here externally. So I did take the transistor off. The transistor was hard to uh, find what it was. I took the transistor off. I, I, um, find what the circuit is here. It is an independent circuit, like I said. And what I did is I built it here, right? And this just this part of the board for ignore, sorry. Ignore all, ignore all this part of the board. I'm just dealing with this here a little bit here. So what I did is I put the transistor in there. I put the um, one mega ohm resistor there. Um, this is the circuit. I might as well show you the circuit first, I suppose. Um, this is the circuit here, and this is the transistor they used M28S. That's an S, by the way, an NPN transistor. And it, as you can see, the the, the base uh, collector and emitter configuration is a little bit different, and that's the capacitor they use, 47 microfarad. 16 volt, 1 mega ohm resistor, which I haven't got, but I've borrowed it from this thing. And 104, sorry, <laughs> 104 there, there, 104 there, and the coil, sorry, <laughs> it's hard, okay. It's the, the <laughs> and this coil circuit there, it's got a center tap there, okay. So that's, that's it there, so I thought I'd show it to you first. Now, what I did is I've got a transistor there and I've got the, uh, the, the resistor which because I, I haven't got a 1 mega ohm resistor and the 104 is right there, I don't know if you can see, well, it, it looks like this, here, 104, here we go, 104, okay, so it's one over there and capacitor. I haven't got 47 microfarad capacitor, I put 100 microfarad capacitor there. I tried to make the coil, let me tell you, I tried to make the coil, this took forever to make, and I unwound this coil, I rewound it again, because this coil was wound, was wound like this, um, like this, with a center tap right here. So there was another lead coming out here, so I had three leads coming out like that, and it was evenly wound, but it didn't work. So what I did, I took this apart again and I wound it like this with two wires I wound it, I wound it with two wires in parallel in other words you take the two wires and you wind them together and you come out with two leads so you've got two starts and two finishes and I configured this all different ways to get this coil working. It didn't work. Now I did the same thing with the original, um, the original coil out of the clock itself. I did the same thing. I unwound it, rewound it, unwound it, rewound it. That didn't work either. So there's a lot of time was taken to try and make it work. But just to show you the circuit does work, what I did is I I uh, soldered leads onto this coil here and let's just have a look. I just got a little little something there with a magnet at the end, magnet at the end there. So you can see it's working nicely, okay? So that's with the original coil that's in there. Just to let you know that uh, changing the magnet round does affect it. So this is uh, the north pole there. So 
if I change it around, it does affect it, see? Not really going. As you can see, it's going fine that way. If I change it around, it doesn't really work. Does that kind of thing. Okay, so that's that. So that was just to prove to you that this circuit actually works. Now the interesting thing about this coil, because I don't know how it's wound, whether they've taken two leads like this uh, and just wrapped it together and come out with two leads like that. But uh, I have to, I have to find uh, something to experiment with that. But to let you know, I checked the resistance. You know, find my paperwork. Okay, this is my original drawing. So I checked the resistance of this coil, and to show you, the the resistance between there and there is 1,800 and something ohms there between that coil and there. But the resistance between there and there is 947 half of it and between there and there is 926 or something like that. So it's like half basically. There and there is half, there and there is half, but between this coil and this coil is double resistance. So it's the way they connected it. The only thing I don't know if the coil is wound with uh, start and finish and then start again and finish there and wound in like in series way um, or if it's just taking two coils and wound them together so that's what I'm trying to figure out at the moment um, the resistance, I can't get the resistance on this coil neither can I get it on the original coil itself the wire I can't, I don't know because it's a very very thin wire so I'm hoping um, maybe uh, I'm trying to figure out if I could do with a, a less resistance changing either capacitor, resistor, or transistor, I don't know, uh, to, to make this work on a 1.5 volt. I like to make it work on a 1.5 1 volt with one transistor and a coil. That's the pendulum I'm trying to make. So I think I will try and get a, a coil which will be quite big like this. I don't want to, but uh, I'll try and wind it until I get that resistance and see if it works. If it does, then I just need to get a thin enough wire to experiment with that. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention one more thing is that because uh, I have, don't have a 47 microfiber, I'm using a 100 microfiber capacitor. The other thing is I don't have this transistor, the ori original transistor which they have. Uh, I'm using BC547 and the, the leads are, are reversed on this. So I'm using BC547 instead of their transistor, which they actually have, which is M28S. I don't have that transistor. But as you can see, it did work nicely anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope I tried to, exp I exp tried to explain properly. I hope I did. And uh, 